We are going to look at automatic captioning in InDesign. And to start with that, we need to start actually in Photoshop. So I've opened up one of the images that I'm going to use in my, my article. And I'm going to go up to File and go down to File Info. And it's in this gigantic dialog box that has many, 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 many different things that we're going to find exactly what we need on the first page. So this will be the document title, the author, and then description. So it's here where you're going to actually put what your caption is going to be. And most of the captions have been provided for you, I believe. So this says the remains of a heroin addict. It's an AP photo credit. So this metadata field, this description field, is what we need to remember. And I'm going to click OK. So we know what's there. We took a look at it. And I'm going to close this now because we don't need it anymore and go to InDesign. For InDesign captioning to work, you have to have, first of all, set up a paragraph styles caption. So I already have one set up. And you're going to go to Object, you're going to go down to Captions, Caption Setup. And this is where, where this metadata is right here, where it says Description. You're going to make sure, if you hit the little menu, you're going to have all kinds of different selections that are also in that dialog box we just looked at in Photoshop. But we want the metadata from the description. We want to position this below the image. You may want to position it somewhere else. That's fine, but that's what we're going to do. And then under here, paragraph style, we're going to choose caption. Okay. And then we want to group the caption with the image. Okay. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to go find that particular image. And there it is. And when I open it up, I'm going to drag it across here. So let's say it's going to go right about there. Okay, there's my image. I'm going to have it selected again, and I'm going to go up to Object. I'm going to go to Captions. I'm going to go to Generate Static Caption. Static Caption just means that it goes with this picture. A live caption means that if you change the picture, the caption will automatically update. I have found there's problems with that. You may want to use it, but we're going to go with Generate, generate Static Caption here, and watch what happens. The blink of an eye. Boom. There it is. So when I hit W to get rid of my lines, there's my caption right there. Nice and neat and seven point type, exactly where I want it to be. And that is how easy captions are. So you need to make sure you leave a little bit of extra room down here. And that is captions.